morning! I'm outside the motel and I'm about to walk over to a little tiny diner um, that I've eaten at before and uh, grab a bagel to go, I think, and maybe have something there too. Um, I'm going to hike about 20 miles today back here. It's so nice to get clean and to have a bed, um, but it's supposed to be beautiful weather and a great day. We've just started our day and we are on a closed bridge. The road is closed, but not to hikers. So they're doing some repairs on it, but uh, we're just marching along. So I've been hiking for, oh, why not even an hour maybe. And I came across this old, I don't know, aqueduct, I guess. There's a bridge over it. My standing on it right now. There are my toes. Anyway, there must have been some kind of a mill or something around here because there are these stone walls and kind of a, it's cool. The structure is really cool out in the middle of nowhere. So this morning's hike is awesome. I was chilly to start, but as soon as I got going, I knew I would warm up, so I didn't put on my coat or anything. Um, there's something called the lemon squeezer here on this part of the hike, and I've just gotten to it. So let me share it with you. See that cave? How it has AT signs in it? No, those aren't ancient writings from a people long ago. That is the trail. So let me... <laughs> oh, I love things like this. Let me get in there. This is fun. The lemon squeezer. Here we go. This is very cool. I love it. Look. Neat. I, I love this stuff. I wish I could film more of it for you, but it's, you know, the terrain is kind of tough. So, okay, I see a blaze right over there. It's kind of like a hunt and peck thing where you have to figure out where you're going. Well, I got to squeeze me and my pack through there. So I don't know if my pack's going to fit. I certainly will, but I think I might have to take my pack off because that is really narrow cool all right i just came around and you know see how that says easy way yes because there was a rock face that i am not good at rock climbing i got short little legs and i literally could not get my foot up to the uh next foothold so i had to kind of backtrack and go around so i kind of treated it like mahusik notch where you figure it out which i did so there I am through Lemon Squeezer. It's a breezy, absolutely beautiful day. I'm ridge walking now. Um, you know, little ups and downs and things, but it's so pretty. I, uh, I've been talking to people, so I've been slower than I normally am. Blah! But uh, with the 20 mile day, I have to be more I don't know, diligent. I have to be better about not talking for so much because I like to talk to people, but it's all good. I have a headlamp if I need it. So that's good. Just wanted to share with you what a pretty day it is. It's cool. You see things like this rock that the glaciers just kind of dumped there. I love it. Isn't this awesome? Oh my God, the trail is amazing. So I just came from the trail over there and there's an old water tower. And look what's here, a brand new one. Way up on the hill. And now I am going to walk on this road for a minute because there's the blaze right there on the tree. I'm sure it'll, the trail will shoot off at some point, but 
This is kind of nice. I like it. Today is like the perfect hiking day though. It's beautiful. It's dry. It's not humid. Cool. Just thought I'd share that with you. It is noon and I am at the William Bryan Memorial Shelter and campsite and there's no privy. And I was hiking along going, I need to use the privy. But alas, no privy. So I think I'll hang out here for a minute, eat a little lunch, hike on, and find a nice place to dig a cat hole. Life on the trail. It's real, people. Anyway, this is a very old shelter. It's stone. As you can see, it's, it's kind of cool. It's got some graffiti, though, but um, good place to stop for lunch. 10 before noon. That's a good thing. I have been saying it's the perfect day. I want to show you something. You know what that is? The Manhattan skyline. Look at that. And here I am hiking in the quiet beauty of New York. It's so wonderful. One more close up because it's so amazing to be this close to such a metropolis. Another amazing day. I just came from the trail that way and I'm on a rocky outcropping with just a beautiful view on a really incredible day. I can hear the Palisades Parkway down below. I crossed it earlier. It's a dangerous crossing, um, but it, you know, it really wasn't that bad. Oh, it's good to be here. It's amazing. I'm walking a ridge right now, and this is the other side of the ridge. It's just such a beautiful day. And if you look between those trees, there's like a lake. Could be the Hudson River, I don't know. Anyway, it's just beautiful. Seriously, I'm on a cliff. This boulder is enormous. I'll get a picture of me standing next to it. I'll prop my phone up and try to get a picture. And how did it get here? The glaciers. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Today's hike is a long one, 20 miles. Um, but it's been really nice. I've loved it. And here's the trail. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Still on the ridge, which is really nice. And I'm hiking along. And you know the zoo that was closed when I went to it? Well, it may be open tomorrow. I'm going to try to figure out how to get there, walk around, and then jump ahead to the trailhead that we got left off this morning to go south. So I gotta, I gotta figure some logistics out because I want to do the zoo. It's the white blaze. I'll be going around it later today because they uh, close at 4.30 and it's already three and I've got about six miles to do. So that's about three hours. So we'll see. We'll see what I can figure out. But there's some blazes telling me I gotta go right. All good. A couple more miles to go and New York keeps on giving me some amazing views. There's the Hudson. And I'm pretty sure down there is the town of Fort Montgomery. Isn't that beautiful? Well, I have just come up Bear Mountain and here is the tower on the top of Bear Mountain on this incredible day. Look at that, that's pretty impressive. The trail goes right by it. Look at that. There are cars up here, there's a parking lot. It's a beautiful spot, I can see why. There's a blaze right there. And look at that. 
This is great. I have a couple miles left on my 20 mile day. And then I'll be done and I'll have some food. Look at that. Really pretty. Okay, so I hiked, oh gosh, hundreds of miles in the bubble with Tarzan and Trippy. Young couple, newlyweds. This is their honeymoon. Lovely, lovely young people, okay? Just love them. And Trippy, she is a beautiful young girl, sweet as peach pie. She is such a love. And uh, I do have to say, she wasn't feeling well. She was tired and whatnot about a week and a half ago, maybe. And I looked at her in the eyes and I said, are you pregnant? And she said, I don't know. And so a few days later, after two pregnancy tests, because why not? We have found out that she is. So bless her and her husband, Tarzan. Sorry, my uh, storage got full and shut me down. So I deleted some things, but anyway, Trippy is pregnant and at home. And uh, Tarzan came back out to do the trail and we'll see how that goes. And uh, I talked to her on the phone and she's doing well and happy. And I just, I just got to thinking as I was hiking along, smiling, um, that as, new lives happen and lives come to an end and i'm experiencing all of that on this trail and i never dreamed i would so it's just an amazing place an amazing time i'm having with amazing people so god bless trippy and tarzan and their little one to come and rest in peace my friend kanga but overall, today has been an amazing, amazing day.